helpful hit the bell icon and do subscribe don't forget to share with your friends happy coding with nr tech studio welcome back citizens today i'll explain the simple mechanism behind the selection sort algorithm let's get started with the today's session the selection sort algorithm sorts an array by repeatedly finding the smallest element from the unsorted part of the array and after that insert it at the beginning of the array let's say we have an array of six elements let me draw the array for you Seventy-seven, forty-four, twenty-two, ten, five, and seven. Then number the element of the array. Okay, zero to five. First, we have to find out the smallest element of the array. So here, the smallest one is. Five. So you have to swap uh, number five and seventy-seven together. In each iteration, we have to swap the smallest number with the first element of the array. So each and every time, left side of the array will be the sorted array, and the right side of the array should be the unsorted array. You can see in the next step. Now I am going to swap number five with seventy-seven. Then number five coming at the beginning of the array. Then forty-four, twenty-two, ten, seventy-seven, and seven. Five and seventy-seven are swapped now. So the left side of the array is now sorted. You can see now I'm going to draw a line, straight line. The left side is the sorted array. Each and every time array is sorted. Uh, to the left to right if there is a one element that one element is always sorted now you can see the second smallest element is number 7 each time we have to select what is the smallest element in the right side of the array so we have to select number 7 and 44 together 7 come to the uh, beginning of the array and 44 will go to the seventh position This should be repeatedly happen until uh, until the uh, array uh, move on, uh, until the end of the array. Means the last index of the array. It should be repeatedly happen. Okay. Now the seven is going to the left side of the subarray. Left side subarray is already sorted. You can see five after that seven. Then again, we are finding the smallest element of the right side of the array, so it is ten. Now we are swapping ten with twenty-two. Ten will be going to the uh, beginning of the array. Left side is already sorted. It's a very simple mechanism. You can understand. Each time we are separating the array into two separate parts: sorted subarray and unsorted subarray. Now you can see uh, the the next smallest element. Next smallest element is what? It is twenty-two. If we draw the straight line from ten, you can see the twenty-two is in the correct. Position. It's in the correct order. It's the smallest one after ten. So no need to be sorted. No need to be swapped. It should be uh, in this correct position. So now there are two elements are left. Seven, seven. And forty-four. Uh, 
from next two elements what is the smallest n1 44 is the smallest n1 so we have to swap 44 with 77 The left side is old and sorted. It's very simple. Select some sort. Now we are going to set 44 bit 77. So now at the end the array is sorted. There are five passes in this uh, uh, selection sort. Uh, in the bubble sort also I have explained what is the uh, number of passes. Number of passes is uh, equal to what? I will explain in the, uh, at the end of the video. There are six elements in this question so number of passes will be 5 always number of passes should be less than 1 to uh, number of elements in the array this is pass number 1 and pass number 2 pass number 2 is pass number 4 and pass number 5 this is the simple mechanism behind the selection sort algorithm so we'll explain what is the relationship between uh, number of passes and number of uh, array elements in the uh, array given array number of passes equal number of elements in the array minus 1 if there are 7 elements in the array number of passes should be 6 if there are 10 elements in the array number of passes should be 9 that means we have to swap the numbers until 9 if there are 10 elements we have to swap the numbers until 9 so here 6 minus 1 5 5 passes will be there Okay, uh, that's it for the today's session. Uh, if you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section. Uh, I will uh, try to give a uh, proper solution for your questions. Uh, happy coding with NRTS Studio. See you in the next episode. Good luck, guys. helpful hit the bell icon and do subscribe don't forget to share with your friends happy coding with nr tech studio